what you know causes high blood pe- high blood pressure you know these these uh um you know that's why it's called high blood pressure or hypertension uh also known some places they say hdn some places they abbreviate hbp the sad thing is many times it has no symptoms you walk around like nothing's wrong a few people may get headaches or you know like uh vision disturbance but majority of times nothing that's why it's called the silent killer that's why i guess if um if any of you is from the continent that's africa and even here uh with our with us you know our our folk over here who are, who are like us it 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 um it doesn't favor us um we we are more prone to it um i can't tell you why although at the same time <laughs> um we can tolerate kind of a higher pressure than our counterparts um even for for blood pressure to get to the point of damaging our kidneys um our kidneys are a little bit more tolerant than the other people's kidneys but doesn't mean we shouldn't we shouldn't take care actually after there's actually two sets of numbers for kidney kidney failure when there is a set that reports that for people of color and then for the other people and we can survive honestly with a with a kidney that's functioning at a lower rate than the other people um which is because given what our challenges are at least it gives us it buys us a little bit time but at the same time it's unfortunate we are the people who are on dialysis like you know because dialysis is one of the things that is as a result of uncontrolled blood pressure it messes your kidney because there's that one in the brain is will cause a bleed if it's hitting your kidneys it's like when you have a sieve right uh your kidneys is like a sieve inside your body when you have a sieve if you if you're constantly putting pressure on that sieve the holes get bigger and so you know if you're sieving like tea then the tea leaves start passing through if you're sieving like soup and then you know things like you see onions and you see tomatoes crossing and so that's the the same case where when with with the pressure will keep hitting the i'm trying to be very basic like using the sieve as a the kidney as a sieve so you don't want very high blood pressure because it will open up those holes and let you know things that don't need to cross over cross over into your body so that's that's one um and then the regular heartbeat should be between 60 to 100 times a minute under normal condition but your your blood pressure rises when your heart beats your heart beats and falls and when your heart relaxes between between the beats your blood pressure can change rapidly and it's affected by changes in stress levels in posture physical activities medication uh caffeine don't take too much coffee it's not good <laughs> but by the way even tea has coffee <laughs> yes it does i don't and... i don't get coffee but but america is a very is a coffee land i see everyone getting in the office with coffee 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 so they don't get to sleep yes and sleep so co- coffee I mean, I I didn't know until I was pregnant that long time ago that tea had had had, had caffeine. Cause growing up, I, I tell people we drank tea in the in the baby bottle because we are we are like that. If you're from Kenya, any time is tea time. 
And so we grew, we grew up drinking tea. And so when I was told you can't have tea, I said, what? Unless it's decaffeinated. And I was like, oh no, I have to have my tea. Anyways, I complied and drank decaf and couldn't wait for the nine months to be over so that I can drink my tea. Tea. This girl here loves her tea. So anyways, so um so th those are some of the things. And there are factors that increase your chances to develop high blood pressure, like the risk, these risk factors. And some of them, there's nothing you can do. Well, being overweight, people with a body mass index of 25 or higher, um, I guess many people you had of BMI, BMI, BMI is your body mass index, and which is your weight. It's a calculation that's done using your height, your weight, and yeah. Technically, the recommended is 25. Which, <laughs> Dr. D is good, <laughs> but it's a struggle here in this country to be at 25. Um, it's very, very, you have to be really lean. It's not easy. Um, actually, I have <laughs> a diagram in my office that that depicts, it, it shows you your body mass index. Most people, it's hard to explain to them that they are overweight or even obese. It's uh, common, obesity is very common here. But when you look at that diagram, the way they did it is fantastic because it, it shows its body's you know, your BMI of 25 looks like this and you can map your height and weight and see where you are. But then like your BMI between this one, between 30 and, 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 and 39, oh Lord. And many people will deny, they'll be like, I'm okay, my clothes fit right. No, but your BMI is, and of course there's obviously like when you're 40, and, and and above your obesity, actually once you reach 35, 30, actually 30, they will call you obese. And if you reach 35 and above, you're morbidly obese. So it is, we really have to work hard to try and stay closer to 25. That way you're avoiding all, like the common three diseases, High blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes are all um, surrounded with weight, overweight being a risk factor. And they can all be altered by reducing your weight. So weight is, you know, stop taking those tuk-tuks, walk. <laughs> Go from, you know, whatever you're going to the <laughs> the other but no, leave, 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 leave people who take tuk-tuks come back here to america you people even when you are going to walmart somebody wants to park next to the door as in it's hard to park down there so that you walk you keep circling you circle until someone leaves and then you get in you know but you know you've mentioned the diseases and let me tell you even cancer Oh, because yes, something yes. something happened I, right now as you're talking and of course I discovered it after and it's not strange to me because I, at the time that I was walking I believe with the, the tumor in me uh, for maybe yeah. a short time my blood pressure was 135, 140 and they used to tell me this is normal but I was like ah, this is this is strange. This is this is not good blood pressure because I knew my mama has had blood pressure issues for some so I knew those numbers. But mm -hmm. they didn't insist that it was normal. You know, um and around that time I used to have headaches and I was really big, I was obese. Mm. The day the tumor was cut out of me, my blood pressure after about it took us uh, some weeks. It has been on 108, 112. It has never gone up there again. Never. So to nowadays, I really monitor that thing. 
any time it goes and touches even 120 there I normally feel like just going to the ear and saying I'm not feeling sick but there's something I keep monitoring and it is funny so you yes. are very right and I hope people who are listening are taking these notes you're very right yes so that is the number one um okay these risks that I'm talking about are modifiable you can change them this first set of risks then i'll go to another set of risks so these ones you can modify number two which unfortunately is changing in the continent is poor diet you know eating unhealthy diet that's high in saturated fats and trans fats and sodium sodium is salt but low in potassium and drinking too much alcohol can increase your blood pressure so you need to watch your saturated trans fats your sodium and you need to take enough potassium do not drink too much alcohol drink in moderation you know don't don't say i drink six six beers every night uh -uh. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not, you know, I mean, I've met people, I've met a young girl who told me she, she was very innocent, she drank a bottle of wine every day, innocently, to her, that was one bottle, she was counting one, <laughs> one, that was, <laughs> but, um, and, Honestly, she was young, her cholesterol was off the roof, her blood pressure was high in, I was wondering what was wrong with her. And then, yeah, once, once I talked to her, but she changed her lifestyle and everything is like the first uh, blood work and the next blood work, you would think the first one was from the wrong patient. But she, I mean, it's, it's um, when you get, um, Patients who are willing to listen to the preacher I always tell them I'm the preacher and you're the choir. And if you choose to not listen to the preacher, we are not gonna win. I like to be a winner, so I like um, it's it's a two way thing. It's not um, you can say I didn't give you the correct medicine, but you also as a patient, wherever you go, you also have your part to play. And if you play your part right, then even if you start up there, honestly, there's light at the end of the tunnel if you if you do what you're supposed to do. So poor diet is number two. First is being overweight or obese. Second is poor diet. Number three now is diabetes. And because unfortunately, about 80% of the people with uh with diabetes also develop high blood pressure. The reason being sugar, high sugar will harden the arteries. Remember those arteries I talked about that need to be elastic. So it will harden the arteries. And so now the, the, the arteries, because they are not elastic, now there will be need for higher pressure for blood to flow. And the end result of that is higher blood pressure. And then the other thing that especially people here we are not good at is lack of regular physical activity. And uh, this, this got worse with COVID-19 and working at home. Um, people work at home, uh, research has already found out that when you work at home, you tend, you sit a lot and you work longer hours than somebody who, who yes, who goes to, to, to the office, you snack in between. And a lot of people gained a lot of weight uh, with COVID work at home um, things. The only way to do it is to really, uh, the recommended is at least, at least one hundred a minimum of 150 minutes of cardio exercises a week, which can be walking, you know, an hour a day, brisk walking. You can 
work. Of course, there's some people with issues. So I always say as tolerated if you have other underlying medical issues that do not, you know, a little activity is better than nothing. But if you can do at least 150 minutes, don't tell me I walk at work. No, mm -mm. doesn't count. <laughs> Does not count. You have to go and race that hard. Just, you know, give the cardio. I've got here all sorts of excuses. Yeah, don't tell me you walk to the fridge. So that is it. <laughs> you walk to the fridge to go and take a snack. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that, so that, let's 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 walk real real. Let's do some cardio exercises. And honestly, other than health, your body will also look good. Your clothes will fit well. You will spend less on a doctor's bill, and you will buy yourself more years on this earth to be with your loved ones. Next modifiable is high cholesterol. Stay away from those uh, fried chicken, fried chicken, fried fish, um, just fatty food. My mother always says, uh, uh, fat is not cooking. <laughs> if if I, I think it in my vernacular, they say more or can you do. <laughs> so <laughs> those were that's French, so <laughs> they, you do not. So uh, we are lucky with the, the way the world has become, at least now the air fryers are becoming more affordable. So you can, and, and honestly, the food tastes just as good in an air fryer. You avoid all that, you know, fat. And also when you're buying, uh, don't buy GMOs, don't buy processed food, stay natural. And for those who can, plant-based. For those who, who can avoid red meats, uh, eat more fish, um, but don't, not the oily fishes. Tilapia is not bad, but don't, don't like soak it in, in fat and whatever, but you know, moderation, more lean, stay away from some of the, you know, fats. Uh, uh, and and like where we come from, um, I know we like ghee, but moderation because ghee is loaded. It's very, very loaded. Indian origin and and much as if I remember, um, grandma just used to use it to cook the, uh, the managus, the sugars, the, say it's called what? Jutes? Something, sage something. I don't know the English name of that vegetable sage night or night sage something the bitter leaf that that uh that you end up putting milk and cream and ghee and <laughs> yes it's so nice but not nice for your heart and um then smoking i know some people smoke let's be honest they smoke as in here i am sure and then there's also those unfortunately, um, are subject to secondhand smoke. Actually, they, are, they get worse. They suffer more than the smoker. So if I don't know about most places, oh no, except in California, they are not, people can smoke around you, but like in Texas, every place is smoke free. But here you go to a concert, somebody is just, I'm like, oh God, help me. But um, so smoking, because smoking, um, it, it, the nicotine, um, it constricts the blood vessels and it raises the blood pressure. And, um, and, and of, as I said, exposure also increases the risk then now um we have the 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 relatively fixed risks that is race so as i said before um african people of color let me put it that way melanated people because every it's i don't want to restrict because everywhere there's people of color here africa you know 
all over the world. Um, they develop um, high blood pressure more often than other groups. And, and, and it tends to be more severe. And that's why even the medications, you will not believe it. There is medications that are, work better on us, work better on the other people. So not all medication works the same. And don't ask me why, but it is just what it is.